everybody, it's me and welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video you're seeing of me and welcome to my channel Please hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already I post Monday through Saturday and this is going to be my last video for tonight And tonight's video I'm going to do my top five film films I watched in film class So I took a film class my second and third semester in college And I really and I kind of enjoyed them except one of them I got ex Kind of enjoyed them because of the movies and stuff and I love movies but sadly, I didn't pass either of them because I got a D in one class and then I think I got a D in the other one. I don't F or a D in the other one. I don't remember. But but I still I had fun going to the classes and watching the movies. Movies I'm going to talk about the some of the films I enjoyed in film class. And a lot of you guys know I do not take college classes anymore due to the fact I had a terrible experience. But still... Um, the only class I pretty much enjoyed was my film class. And I'm going to get started. And if you guys have taken film class or are taking film classes let, classes this semester, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite favorite um, films you've watched or have watched when you take or are taking in film cla class. So, so I'm going to get started. So number one on my list had to be a, It Happened One Night. Now this is one of my second Clark Gable film. My first film was actually... Um, Gone with the Wind, which is a super long movie. I forgot how many hours that was. Here, let me get my uh, phone to so do some research. Gone with the Wind. Oh, it's three, it's almost four hours long. Long, yeah, so that was a super long film. So that's the only film I've seen Clark Gable in, one of the only films I saw Clark Gable in before I saw his other films. And I really enjoyed this film because I had, because you had a couple that kind of didn't like each other. Excuse me one moment. Sorry, because um, you had a couple that didn't like each other, and for those who don't know, I'm a huge fan of those kind of couples who are who don't like each other at first, but later on they fall in love and stuff like fall in love, and um, the man tries to return the daughter to a claim of reward of money, but money and the daughter wants to leave to make her own decisions, decisions as her father completely controls everything that she does does and then when the two meet they don't like each other at first but then they end up falling in love love and this is a great film my dad even recognizes this movie this is one of my like my third I th no this was my third Clark Gable film excuse me me but it was still I really liked it because it was just a fun movie to watch due to the fact watching a couple fall in love later on instead of right away number two in my list had to be Red Dust now this is another Clark Gable film Film. This one's black and white. I forgot to mention that it happened one night is black and white as well. This is a great film. You got two, two got kind of a love triangle going on in this film. You got one woman, woman who had just I like lost her husband, who's like become a widow, and then another woman who's like the partner of the man who who is taking the woman during, on the jungle tour. Tour and they, the both women have a rivalry sort of with each other, each other of the um, jungle, the tour guide, guide and like um, they kind of because she gets jealous of him spending time with the other woman during the jungle tour. Tour and it's a pretty interesting film because it's black and white and then you got Clark Gable again with Jean Harlow. Jean Harlow was a pretty good actress in this film as well. Well, and it's got a lot of, like, interesting plot twists and turns, and I think it's awesome. So, I mean, it was super fun to watch. Number three on my list had to be The Godfather. The Godfather is a pretty good film. I really enjoyed the um, acting of Robert De Niro 
And I've enjoyed Nero. And I do like, I think Robert De Niro. Yeah, Robert De Niro, I think, is in this film. I think he is. I can't remember who else. Yeah, Robert De Niro is in this film, I'm pretty sure. I really enjoyed Robert De Niro's acting. I enjoyed um, the story. I enjoyed all the different characters. I enjoyed the plot. I enjoyed the different sections of the story. And it was a, I remember it being quite a long film, so I had to, like, watch it, like, um, so I just stopped, we had to stop it until class was over, and then I had to watch it, like, four times until the movie was actually pretty much finished. I didn't have to watch it over and over again. I had to watch it through, through the parts that we stopped at and everything. Thing, and it was a pretty good film. Um, and I know, I hear a lot of people actually watch The Godfather when they take film classes, and it was a pretty enjoyable film, and I liked how it was Technicolor. Number, color, because even though I like black and white films, I'm more a fan of color. Number four on my list had to be Bonnie and Clyde. I enjoyed this film because this film was a bio, sort of a biographical film of the outlaws Bonnie and Clyde. I really enjoyed, like, the story of how they became outlaws, and how, what got them started into becoming outlaws, and what they did, did, and everything, and the history of everything that had happened to them, to them, and I thought it was a pretty interesting film to watch, like, their story of how they started to become outlaws, and what happened to them afterwards, because I'm a huge fan of history films, and how things happen, and everything that goes on during that time. Number five on my list had to be Rear Window. This is a pretty good film. I really enjoyed this movie. It's an Alfred Hitchcock film. Alfred Hitchcock does have some pretty good films. Films like I like um, this movie for the creepiness you kind of get, the suspense you get, the story. An interesting fact about this uh, about Alfred Ch Hitchcock films, I hear he always puts himself as a cameo in every film, which I think is really cool. My mom's friend actually taught me that, told me that cameo, because, told that not, he is a cameo in every, every single film that he makes, pretty much. I just enjoyed the suspense. One thing I really enjoyed about this film was the suspense that goes on. Like, you always have a surprise in every Alfred Hitchcock film with things that go on during the film and the way everything happens. And what happens next, it gets you so surprised. It's pretty cool. Okay, so those are my top five films I watched in film class. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post Monday through Saturday, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!